Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Yummy Mash. And like I promised in my last Gears of War 2 commentary, here's my quality settings and a tutorial on how to get that quality. Now before I show you, I just want to say that I rendered my last Gears of War 2 commentary in MP4, not WMV. So that's going to be the same quality settings you'll see in this tutorial. And here's a quick snippet of my Gears of War 2 and Modern Warfare 2 quality. And remember that's also rendered in MP4, so here we go. Damn! Okay, now that you've seen that, I'll just show you how I got this quality. And the first thing we want to do is go down to our capture module for our HDPVR software. Now you'll see that I record in PlayStation 3, not Xbox 360. And the reason for this is I find PlayStation 3 uh, recording much more... Well, the quality is a lot more better. Uh, the colour seems to stand out more and it just looks overall better quality. Obviously you can test out the Xbox 360 for yourself and see which one you prefer. But I just prefer the PlayStation 3, so it's more like preference than anything. Now you'll see that my uh, encoding bitrate's at 13.5, and that's the highest you can rack it up to. And the reason I do that is the lower your encoding bitrate, the more jittery your keyframes are going to be, and there'll be like there'll be a lot of um, stuff on the screen that's just going to get away, get in the way of everything. Uh, you need to really see it for yourself. So go to your format settings, drag the bar down, and then just look at your um, your preview screen, and you'll see the uh, terrible quality. So if your computer can handle it, just whack it up to the top and have it at 13.5. Now let's just drag a clip into Sony Vegas. And this is going to be the Gears of War 2 gridlock clip I just showed you. Well, it's not really a clip, but, you know, like, quality settings. Okay, here we go. Uh, my computer's running a little slow right now because I'm using Camtasia. But, anyway, this is the uh, gridlock clip. And the first thing we want to do to this is we want to get rid of that black bar on the left-hand side. It's very small, but, you know, it, it does get in the way, so we go to Maintain Aspect Ratio, put that to No, and then we are going to drag in this box here, just a tiny bit, and that will get rid of the black bar. So now we're going to exit our pan and crop, and we want to right click the clip, go to Properties, and Disable Resample. Now what this does is it gets rid of any ghost effects, so if you, like, if you slow down a clip you'll see that there'll be like a little outline of the last clip, and we don't like that, so just disable resample that gets rid of it and finally we go to sharpen reset to none and I like to just add a little bit like 0 0.10 there's no point in really adding more because if you add too much sharpen it makes the clip look stupid and if you don't add any it really doesn't do anything so 0 0.10 it's just very subtle but I think it makes it look nicer now here comes the important things this is what's actually going to do stuff to the clip um, so firstly, we get, we're going to go to our color. Um, I think it's color curves. No, color corrector. Sorry, and then we're going to add a studio RGB to computer RGB. And if we look at that preview screen, you'll see that the color stands out more, but it also darkens the cl darkens the clip a little. So um, depending on the game or the map you're on on the game, you you don't you want to make sure it's not too dark. So um, when we add our next effect, which is color curves, we can obviously tweak it so we can even make it brighter or darker or whatever. So we'll add the reset to none. We'll drag this up to the top. And then um, I'm, I'm just going to drag this one down to the bottom. And you see it doesn't, hasn't really done much, but you, um, you see this uh, grey bar here. The further we drag it out, if you look, the brighter the clip's going to be. So um, if it's a bit dark, then just drag that grey bar out a little. And um, I still think it's a tiny bit dark, so I'll drag it out a little bit more. And yeah, I think that's fine. Um, that looks pretty good, so we'll just do that. And that's really all I'm going to do to the clip. I'll show you a couple of uh, other things you can do. Uh, so we can also add um, an effect called Soft Contrast, which is... Um, you can only get it on Sony Vegas 9. You can't get it on Sony Vegas 8. Uh, I'm very sure you can get this on Sony Vegas 10, though, the uh, new Sony Vegas. And you'll see that when I add a soft contrast, it actually blurs the clip a little and adds like, well, like a contrast, like it says in the title. It's a bit brighter, but it's going to darken some areas. Uh, I don't really like the effect, so I'm just going to not use that. I've seen it a lot in montages, though. Uh, it's it's kind of nice, in a way. 
I think it's more about personal preference than anything. And also you can add a saturation adjust if you want, if you want to make the clip more colourful, make the colour stand out more. Uh, in my opinion, I think it looks tacky, it's a bit too bright, and green, it's kind of like a sick green, so I don't like that very much. Uh, it's better on some maps in my opinion, and it's not very good on grid look. So there's the bars I use, you can copy those down if you want. But I'm not going to add this to that clip, so I'll just get rid of that. So now here comes the important things, we're going to go to render as, and you'll see that I uh, save it as an mp4 file and that's very important, uh, let's go to custom and um, I'm going to change this to 960 by 540 because it's still going to be full screen on YouTube and if you have it 1280 by 720 it seems a bit in excess um, excess than anything, the file is going to be bigger it's going to take longer to render, longer to upload and it, it's still full screen in 960 by 540 and you'll also see my frame rate is 59.9 I think this makes the video a bit smoother, but 29.97 uh, NTSC is fine as well. Uh, it doesn't really do much, but you know, it's preference, like I said again. Audio really isn't that important, uh, it's fine like that. And um, I render it in best, obviously. Uh, best quality just makes it obviously <laughs> better. Uh, if you render it in less, the quality will be smaller and it will take less time to render. But, um,. I like best. So here's my WMV settings. Go to custom, and uh, let's go to uh, actually one sec. Uh, WMV, like I said at the beginning, the quality is not as good as MP4 because it compresses the quality. It takes a lot less time to render and it takes a lot less time to upload because the file is going to be a lot smaller. But I like quality over the anything. So if your computer's pretty good or your internet's good, then just do MP4. So let me make the width 960 and, and the height 540 again. Um, and now the video smoothness, I think it's very, it's pretty obvious. Uh, 90 is fine in my opinion, you can whack it up to 100 if you want. Uh, make sure it's not below halfway because then you're going to lose too much quality. And obviously my uh, settings is best, so yeah. That's pretty much about it guys. Um, so if you like the video please give it a like or a comment. And yeah, I'll try and bring you another uh, tutorial sometime soon, maybe on something else.